Hello everyone, a quick video on how to get the maintenance mode on a Lexus hybrid. Now the same system or principles apply to uh, other Toyota Group hybrid uh, cars um, and I'll go into a bit, bit of detail why later on in the video, why we need to get the maintenance mode done but my jump pack over there should give you an idea. But anyway, what you need to do, just uh, make sure you got the, uh, this is a foot operated handbrake, so make sure the handbrake is fully on Put the key into the ignition, do not start the car. All you do is put it into the first ignition so these lights come on, okay? Don't press the brake. What you do is pump the accelerator twice with the gear stick in park. So, once, twice. Then, put it into neutral, depress the brake pedal and then put it into neutral and you'll get that sign come on. Don't worry about that. And then pump the brake, uh, accelerator twice. One, two, and then go back. Put it into park. And then pump the accelerator twice again. One, two, and that's it. So all you do, turn the car on, and there you have it. You have the sign there. Don't worry about it saying check via vehicle stability control system. That's fine. There you go. Maintenance mode is in play right now. So you'll get that um, uh, triangle sign come up and you'll get maintenance mode show up on there. And so why would you want to do this? So if you, the only reasons why you want to do the maintenance mode is if you want to charge up your 12 volt auxiliary battery because when you uh, do this, the hybrid system, because it turns the engine off, it won't allow the 12 volt battery to fully charge. And so maybe putting it on the maintenance mode, the engine's constantly running. So after about half an hour to uh, 45 minutes, that should help charge the uh, battery. Of course, a big warning, do not drive the car in maintenance mode. Please do not drive the car in maintenance mode. It will do damage to the car. And uh, the other reasons why you want to do the maintenance mode is if you wanted to check for any engine codes that have been coming up and you want to get live data from an OBD uh, machine. So uh, the only way to do that is put it in maintenance mode. And the final reason why is if you've uh, either if you've uh, just flushed and changed the coolant or you've changed the water pump and had to drain all the coolant out and put new coolant in and of course when you do that you need to bleed the cooling system and the only way to make sure that's done properly and if the job's done uh, worked or not is to put it in maintenance mode so that the engine is running all the time uh, because if you do it normally the hybrid turns the engine off and you can't bleed the system properly so once you've done that the way to cancel this is just simply turn the car off and turn it back on again and it will be uh, back to normal and all these warning signs will turn off. So I hope uh, that helped everyone. Do like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Ta-da!